Hello, my name is Sean McLaughlin. I'm the CEO of Airframes Alaska, and I'm here with Doug Keller. I'm an engineer here at Airframes Alaska. And today we're going to show you and discuss all the things about our new product, the Tailwheel Shimmy Dampener. So, okay. So, Doug, we're going to talk today about the Tailwheel Shimmy Dampener. So, tell me first, what causes Tailwheel Shimmy? Everybody tells me. We don't make a good enough tailwheel. Is that it? Well, there's a lot of factors that cause tailwheel shimmy. Okay, so what do we got? So we got caster angle. So that's the angle of the rotation plane relative to the ground. If we have a positive caster angle, it's less prone to shimmy. So that happens because you change the weight of your tail, right? Well, no, it's just the, the, the dynamics of it. It's, it's your, tail, your tail spring gets flattened. What happens? I mean, how that, do you that get That makes from... the caster angle negative. Okay. So it's, it's no different than a shopping cart. We've all experienced a shopping cart wheel. Yes. And yes, they're brutal. And people do their PhD studies on, on this shimmy. The math on this thing is incredible. So this is a hydraulic dampener. It's very similar to a motorcycle steering dampener. It's got hydraulic oil in here, and it causes resistance when the tail wheel is in the centering position. As okay, it, so like when it's like this. So. Exactly. So it doesn't lock it here, it just causes a little resistance. As you get away from the center, yep. it gets less and less resistance. Okay. And so it's free. So that's, that's when you're steering, you're not landing basically. Right. So basically when a shimmy starts, you're off and then you come fast to the center. And what this damper is, is it just kind of puts the brakes on and not let it go past there. Got it. And it's it. kind of just kind of lock it in place. It doesn't lock it. Like and it's doing forward. all that because there's a hydraulic flapper in here. And it's just providing this resistance the right time exactly. in the whole exactly. scenario. Okay. So it's a matter of tolerances. The flapper and the, and the mating part get really close together, so yep. the hydraulic oil has to go through that little gap, okay. which slows it down. I got you. Now, does this only fit our tail wheels? Or what, how does this all work? It fits every tail wheel that we make. Every tail wheel that we make, okay. If, if you have our tail wheel, and you have STC, and there's 200 makes and models, we have a, a solution for you. Okay. It also fits our predecessor, Scott. So if you have a Scott, we can... So those all work too? All, yeah, just like all these parts are just direct And how Scott. about plane types? How about aircraft about types? about 200 different makes and models. It's Give me all, a couple of them. What do they fit on? Uh, well, Cessna 185. Okay. Cessna 188. Uh, found. Every, almost every tailwheel aircraft in the market. Okay. Okay, so Doug, what is... Uh, we get all this benefit. What does it weigh? Well, that and the adapter plates and everything weighs about a pound and a half. So a pound and a half to install, and it's all in the tail. Right. So that's a place most guys most guys want, want some weight if they're going to have some weight. Okay. And how does it actually install on the tail wheel? So if I'm looking at one of these tail wheels, so let's use this one for example. Okay. Let's. Um, we, what there's do we do? Different different yep. plates for different with the tail. I see, you got a whole bunch of different plates right. here. Okay. This one's not anodized, but they'll be anodized. Yep. And so we take our tail spring. Yep. Oh. It, I happen to have this strange looking tail That's spring nice right one. here. You want to try this one? Sure. Yeah, it hasn't been tried before. This is a titanium. That's titanium. Let's, nice. You want to try that out? Um, so, you put your tail spring through here. I don't have the right hardware, but I'll give you an idea. Just kind of give people an idea, yeah. So this plate goes on here, and you can see how these dogs here keep it from rotating. Yeah, so got it, here you go. Put that on there. So, so you have a mounting bracket, basically. Right. Okay. So, so this can't rotate now. Now, if yep. you had a two-holer or a different 3400, you'd oh, have yeah. different Three plates. Okay. So, so, so you'd you, use a different set right. of these plates based on a bunch of things. Right. So, what's so we're going to have to help the customer make sure they get exactly. the right plate. Exactly. What's common to all of them is this hydraulic this part, okay. this piece. The adapter to get to there is different. So in this got particular it. application, so we again put some bolts in here. Some, here, got it. Here's one. You got the back one? Okay, so this isn't bad. You got that one? There we go. So there's two bolts on each side. Okay. Tighten those up a little hand tight. And these will get safety wired. Actually, we don't even need to do these to show me, but it's right. okay. So now what? Now I got that thing on there. Now we have this control arm. This is what hooks the hydraulic dampener to the tail wheel Got via it. the steering arm. Got it. So, 
so just to give you an idea, I mean, every one's going to have a different application. We have that. And that's out. why you've got all these adjustments in here, right? You right? can adjust this. So basically, what happens is, just to, like in the trailing center position, there's resistance. As it moves over, coming from way back here, right? As yep. it moves over, it gets no resistance, and then it still has the detent, so it still can rotate all the way around. All the way around. So, so in essence, if something did break too, is it? You basically, you unscrew this and you're like back right. to where you were. Right. You can call us and order whatever part broke. Okay. Um, it's, it's really no maintenance. It's got seals in there for the hydraulic fluid. It's so there's no maintenance once we finish here at the factory. Correct. So there's hydraulic fluid in here, 5606, which is calling for aircraft. We have to bleed the air out. That's what these bleed valves are for. Mm -hmm. Our instructions spell out if you have to do, do that, but, but when you receive it from Factory, factory, it's, it's set. It's all set. Okay. All you have to do is bolt it on. Okay, and it would look like this. For that particular Made model. And goodbye shimmy. Yeah. You were telling me also earlier that um, all nose fork, all tri-gear applications already have a dampener. Correct. Already. Correct. So we, what we're doing is we're just... From the factory. From the factory. Yeah. So we're closing the gap. Exactly. All so the tail draggers. This is... Cable shimmy is very common. Very common. Every, every tail dragger pilot has experienced this. All right, well, thank you. Uh, there you have it, folks. That's the new Tailwheel Shimmy Dampener. You'll be able to see it on our website, uh, availability and pricing, and thanks for your time.